Nothing feels better after a long day at work than peeling off this confining leg wear, which begs the question, what's with all the pants? The short answer is that they provided a military advantage. It is much easier to ride horses while wearing pants than it is to do so in robes or togas, sorry Greeks and Romans. The first recorded usage of pants was during the 6th century BC by Greek geographers who were noting the leg wear of Central Asian and Persian horse riders. 1. They scoffed at these early trousers, saying that only barbarians would wear such clothing. Like the Greeks, the Romans similarly rejected them, but they ultimately found their effectiveness and practicality overwhelming. Eventually, Europe was taken over by pants-wearing knights and the noble elite. Pants in Europe during the 15th century became more and more ornate, with big, puffy bits that tightly cinched around the knees and connected to socks. Luckily, this style faded out as the popular working class began to wear more practical pants. Finally, during the 19th century, the modern idea of pants really developed thanks to the stylings of the eldest son of Queen Victoria, Edward VII. Today, pants help to form the image of a working individual who can be ready for any type of action at a moment's notice. So, while marauding the land on horseback is not your typical activity, the ability to move both legs independently and not have to worry about exposing oneself is well worth the extra steps it takes to relieve oneself.